by Buck Hill in Burnsville lately, you've probably noticed some unusually green slopes. Yeah, it's not grass, though. It's called a dry slope. It's a dry slope surface allowing for downhill skiing all year round. M.A. Roscoe tries it out. It isn't often you go skiing and instead of adding layers, you're pulling them off, but this is no ordinary ski slope. Because this is no ordinary ski hill. It is coated with artificial dry turf called emiplast. And uh, Tom Schultz, head of the ski school here at Buck Hill, it's a product made in Italy, but this is, if you want to ski on Evaplast. Nevaplast. Nevaplast. Yep, yep, yep. If you've never skied on Evaplast, <laughs> this is the place to do it because this is the most you'll find in the world. Yeah, we're the we're the largest installation of Nevaplast globally. So it's uh, we're kind of the flagship of what they've got going on right now. The product's been available for about 15 years or so. There's an installation in Italy that's 15 years old and. Uh, it's been well received so far. It's been great. Well, can I tell you the pleasure of not having hand warmers and foot warmers and, oh, yeah. you know, frostbite on your nose? This is extremely pleasant, although it's a little weird, I have to say. It's a little weird to see some grass sprouting up in between the holes in the Nevaplast. So that's kind of by design. The way the product is set up is we've got a, a fabric underneath the actual product that allows grass to germinate through. Uh, and you need that root structure underneath the surface to prevent any erosion underneath the, the carpet itself. Um, last thing we want is any ruts or dips that develops because we've spent a lot of time putting a fine grade on the slope. Uh, much like a groomer would in the wintertime, we did that with the dirt ahead of time, and now we're protecting that by having some grass grow underneath the carpet to hold it all in place. As far as the experience goes, I'm not a terribly experienced skier, but it seems a lot like snow, not exactly like snow. But this is, I, I see you've got some terrain park elements in here. This is for snowboarders, skiers, everybody? Yeah, everybody. You know, we've got, we've got programs where we've been running. We've got beginner skiers and snowboarders that have come out that have never skied or snowboarded before that have tried it for the first time their first you know ever experience was on plastic surface um, and I'm hoping they'll come back in the winter time uh, but then we've got terrain park programs kids that are out here with different programs that are out here playing on this stuff we've got race programs that are happening and, and people just come out and having a good time now I can't tell you if it hurts to fall on it because well let's just say I was really committed to staying upright but whoa let's, let's say whoa you do fall down for a second okay um, it's a little pokey but I'll tell you this your butt is not gonna get wet I can guarantee that <laughs> exactly, right right unless it's raining unless it's raining and by the way if it is raining it, it works even better. So yeah, anytime the, the, the t like snow, the temperature changes, the snow condition changes, changes a little bit, but not as much. So with a little bit of moisture, rain or mist, it gets a little faster. Well, speaking of faster, you're the expert, you're the instructor. I'm gonna see how fast you can go, not on the tow rope, <laughs> but on the real hill. Okay. Are you ready? Sure, absolutely, okay. let's go. Oh, you guys make it look so easy. Buck Hill is open seven days a week for dry slope skiing. And by the way, you can use your own gear or rent it. Back to you.